Hello everyone and welcome to Golden Eagle Sports Report. Today I have a very special guest, brand new Marquette women's basketball coach, Kara Consuegra. Thank you for joining us today. Glad to be here. So let's start off, Coach Consuegra. You come here after a pretty coveted career with Charlotte women's basketball. Can you tell me a little bit about Charlotte and how you're going to take some of the things you learned there and bring them over here to this program? Well, I was fortunate to be at such a great institution and community for 13 years. Mm -hmm. um, and I think during that time, I really grew up as a head coach. I was hired really young. I was 32 years old. And I've been through a lot of changes there. Um, obviously, had a lot of different teams and colleagues. And so I think, you know, when you when you ask, you know, what will I bring from Charlotte, I'll bring all of it. I'll bring the experience um, that I gained. I'll bring the knowledge that I learned. Um, I'll bring the leadership skills that those there at Charlotte poured into me. Um, and I'll bring all of those here to Marquette to continue to uh, push this program forward. And, you know, you talk about pushing this program forward. This program saw a lot of success under Coach Duffy, you know, multiple NCAA tournament appearances. But sort of the catalyst of that was they were having a hard time winning. They didn't win a single first round in an NCAA tournament. Mm -hmm. What do you think that you could bring to maybe push this program past the first round? Well, I think you're right. I think Coach Duffy did a really tremendous job. And, um, you know, certainly our goals will be similar to compete for the top of the Big East and to get into the NCAA tournament every year. And I agree, you know, we, we want to be, you know, the team that kind of gets past that first round. And, you know, I don't know the differences because I wasn't here, but I know who I am and I know, um, you know, my expectation to be able to uh, continue to move forward is so much built on culture. I mean, obviously we need to bring in the right players here from a basketball standpoint, from a Marquette standpoint, do they fit the culture of our institution, uh, but also be able to bring that team together with a strong culture, strong uh, just community among our teammates. Uh, and I think, yeah, I think you combine that with really great skill, that's how you win really important games. No, I absolutely agree. And, you know, Coach Shaka Smart and the Marquette men's basketball team, they do a great job of putting culture first. Mm -hmm. And you talk about culture, you know, at Charlotte you had an acronym going by HEART. Could you describe HEART and what that means to you? Yes. Um, when I was hired, I said, okay, I want to create a program with a great culture and great values. Yeah. And when I think about myself as a head coach and as a person, who am I? Um, and that's where I came up, up with Play With Heart. Heart stands for heart, effort, accountability, respect, and toughness. And those wor wor words um, will be just the fundamentals of everything that we do here at Marquette. Uh, I want our players to demonstrate them on the court. I want them to demonstrate them off the court. I want them to be a really solid foundation for us in good times and through adversity. Absolutely, you know, and adversity is going to happen. We look at the way that this roster is constructed right now. A lot of girls graduating, you know, girls going into the transfer portal. What is your plan? How do you envision yourself putting together a cohesive roster with very few girls to come by right now? Yeah, I mean, it's certainly uh, a challenge, yeah. but, um, you know, there's a lot of challenges in collegiate athletics right now. And, mm -hmm. you know, unfortunately, when there are coaching changes, it's not uh, uncommon for a lot of players to go into the portal. So I knew what I was getting into. Uh, I like the core six players that are here. I had an opportunity to work them out five days. And so that was great just to get a better sense of who they are and what they can do. And, uh, you know, I believe that I have the relationships with some players that we were already recruiting um, at Charlotte, um, some players that um, maybe we couldn't recruit there that we can get into the door with now. Yeah. And I feel like we still have some really great options. So I'm excited about, you know, what we can do over the next couple of weeks. Um, but I also want to be really certain, you know, again, I think our culture, our chemistry, um, that is really important yeah. to me in that first year. And so it's not just, I don't want to have a mentality we're just bringing in anyone. We need to bring in players that will fit. Absolutely. And that fit, I think for you, it might help that you've been here before. You know, you coached at Marquette for a long time. You're part of, you know, Terry Mitchell's staff. Can you tell us about your experience before here at Marquette and, mm -hmm. you know, why you chose to come back ultimately? My experience here at Marquette was tremendous. Mm -hmm. um, and quite frankly, it feels very similar in a lot of ways. Uh, one reason I love Marquette so much was just the people. I mean, everyone here was just so supportive and tremendous. And, you know, everybody here is striving for excellence. And that's, that's what I want. And I want people around me in my life um, that have that same mission and you know coming back it feels the same in that regard There's a lot of those same people here, which again speaks highly to the culture of the athletic department uh, That so many people are still here um, And you know again, I, I felt that immediately as I got on campus and so ultimately for me I, That that matters the most the people that I'll be around the support that we have um, who, who will be behind us as we continue to rebuild this program yeah, and it's great that, you know, familiar faces, people that you can rely on. 
Um, can you describe a little bit more about your goals as a coach, you know, further than culture? Like, what do you, can you, where do you envision this team going mm -hmm. in, in due time? Yeah. Well, I would say, number one, I am a transformational coach. Sure. I'm not a transactional. And so, obviously, we want to win. I came here to win. I, I get the expectations. Mm -hmm. And I want to be about around a place that expects you to win. Of course. Um, but I also really care about the student-athlete experience. Mm -hmm. I want our young women to be able to come here and transform their lives and, you know, prepare them for the world and uh, develop leadership skills. Uh, and things of that nature, that is as important to me as any basketball skill that we will uh, enhance during their time here. And so again, it, it's more of a holistic approach in how we can help young ladies, again, uh, just have an incredible experience. And winning is part of that. And so, um, you know, I, I do believe if we can bring in the right people uh, who want to be pushed on the court, off the court, who want to be challenged in their values and who they are, um, I believe that translates to winning. I totally agree with you. And looking back, Maybe some of our viewers might not know, but you were a baller yourself. Can you tell us a little bit about your experience playing basketball at Iowa and then furthermore, and then how maybe that can relate to who you are as a coach? Yeah, I mean, I had a great experience, uh, really blessed to be able to play at the University of Iowa. Yeah. Played for Coach Lisa Bluter my senior year, who um, has, is still there and has done just a tremendous job with that program yeah. and has become um, more than a coach, but a colleague in some ways. I can still call her for advice to this day. Um, but I think, I always think it's great um, when you have coaches that played the game at a high level because yeah. the understanding is just a little bit different. You know how players feel, you know what they're going through during certain times of the season. Um, and I think if you don't, if you haven't played the game, it's hard to really understand that. So I think it helps us, you know, have some empathy when we need it. It also helps us keep the foot on the gas when we know that they're capable of more. For sure. um, and then, you know, it's always fun to be able to jump out there and, and demonstrate some things, um, you know, because I can still, I guess I can still get up and down a little bit. Yeah. Um, so I think that that ultimately brings um, just a respect from the players around that, okay, coach can, can show me how it's done. Absolutely. And coach, mm -hmm. When I was doing my preparation for this interview, there was a lot of talks about how you are a guard first coach, that mm -hmm. you prioritize the guard play and then furthermore, you know, translating guard play to, okay, now we're gonna focus on like the forwards and the mm -hmm. centers. Mm -hmm. Do you think that is true mm -hmm. or does that, you know, match your coaching style? Well, I was a point guard, mm -hmm. you, you know, that, that's the position I played. So certainly, um, you know, that's what I'm best at in terms of developing, sure. but um, you know, I think a lot of it just depends on the players that you get on your team through the years. I mean, I think the last couple of years at Charlotte, I was really fortunate to be able to recruit really high level guards, yeah. player of the year, first team all conference, you know, things of that nature. Um, and so it did seem like a really guard heavy team just because of the talent we had in the program. Uh, my first couple years at Charlotte was opposite. We had a player of the year who was a center for our team. So I think, again, some of that uh, just depends on the talent that you're able to get into the program, willingness to adjust. Uh, ultimately, we're going to put our, our team in the best position to win based on the personnel that we have. Absolutely. And Coach, let's take a step back from basketball. We talked a lot about basketball. Can you tell us a little <laughs> bit about you, maybe some of your hobbies? What do you enjoy outside of basketball? Uh, I'm a mom first and a wife. I have a tremendous husband, JP. My, my children, uh, Jaden and Jace, are 10 and 8. And so I probably used to have hobbies, but now my hobbies are to follow around my children. Uh, they're very much into sports, so I, uh, I would say my favorite thing, other than coaching and mentoring young women, is to watch my children play sports. And so certainly play, uh, spend a lot of time uh, with them. Other than that, we like to travel. We like to be out and about uh, outside. We like to hike, go to the beach, things of that nature. But ultimately, family time is most important to us. For sure. Is there a favorite trip that you've been on? Um, we like we like to go to Mexico. We cert we uh, usually try to go down there during spring break with family, um, and uh, just kind of spoil our kids when we can. And lastly, coach, what does family mean to you? Um, to me, family is. Um, that's a great question. I mean, it's about, it's, I would say it's really a feeling. It's, you know, you certainly have your, your family by blood, um, but family can also be created with people that you care about. And I think family ultimately is a feeling. It's a feeling of love. It's a feeling of respect. It's a feeling of community um, that is created through relationships and time. Um, and again, you know, you're, you're always born into a family where that kind of feels automatic. Um, but I also think it's important to pour into those relationships 
and uh, certainly coming here with a new team and a new program, um, we're going to spend the time to create those relationships and pour into those around us, whether they're players on my team, whether they're colleagues we work, at, work with, uh, whether they're part of the university community. We want everybody to feel invested and loved by our program. And we want the community to feel uh, that they're a large part of it. That's important to us. Coach, thank you so much for your time.